Good afternoon, everybody. Something a little different there to say at the beginning. It was raining this morning, so we're taking a afternoon walk here. So, but what I wanted to talk about is like fun. I mean, this is like fun stuff. And I realize that there's a lot of people out there that this stuff happens to, and it scares everybody. Uh, like with the people watching you or whatever. I, I'd say it's it's. I'm becoming to the point where it, I think it's pretty much all spiritual. You know, it it got to be. And so, all that means <laughs> is the fun's about to begin is don't worry about any of these people around you because that's the evil spirits in them that are doing that. So just use your authority in the name of Jesus Christ and bind them and send them down to the dry place because you know they don't want to do that. The ones that Jesus was... that he cast out of that guy with the legion of demons in there into the thousand pigs that ran over the cliff they asked him you know are you going to send us down before our time you know they, they don't want to they want all the time that they can have so he just put them in the pigs instead of sending them binding them and sending them down to the abyss or dry place or uh so just and, you know, it's not you that's doing it. You don't even have to get excited or anything. All you got to do is say it. And then let our Father in Heaven take care of it. He's the one that tells us we have the power to begin with. When you have the Holy Spirit, that's what these things are so afraid of. This whole system's evil. <laughs> I imagine the government is watching everybody. <laughs> You gotta remember what system we're in right here. So don't be afraid of any of this stuff. It's just nonsense. It's like once you look behind the scene, the screen there, it's just like a big puff of smoke. God says whatever we bind on earth, he binds in heaven. So fight back in the spiritual realm. Our fight is not carnal. Not against flesh and blood. We have to fight back spiritually. And I will tell you guys that if you're not following the commandments, you won't have as much power with the stuff that you're going to need to do. You need to listen to Jesus. Because the demons, they know, they know what you're all about. They know what you're thinking. You know, they know everything that you see, everything that you think, they already know it in the spiritual realm. I've noticed that just being around people lately and they just say things. It's like, how did they know that? I was just thinking about that. Or, <laughs> you know, uploading a video and uh, knowing that nobody has even watched it. Especially at my house because I was there with my wife and upload a video and then come back outside and already knows what the name of the video was. Like, well, that was because that was that spirit at the time. There was no way my wife would have known that <laughs> unless she would have watched a YouTube video that I just put up. But somehow and that was the one that was called the gigs up so yeah if anybody like jumps out at me or anything I'm just gonna start binding up these demons and sending them where they need to go I ain't playing around I don't think we're supposed to be playing around <laughs> Our Father tells us whatever that we need, just ask. 
and he's just he's just waiting for people to realize the power that they have in him can you imagine a whole bunch of people that actually knew the authority and the power of Jesus's name that they carry these demons they can't they Jesus already won they have to listen to you they don't have a choice With saying that, I will say something that uh, a spirit that I tried to get rid of, it like left for a second and then came back and told me that I wasn't always king. So then I figured that that spirit had a legal right to be there. And because that was that mouthy spirit you know that that spirit ain't gonna repent for nothing or anything but the person that you love does so that's when my wife signed the thing about you know the following that you intend to love God with all of your heart mind and soul and love your neighbor as yourself and just to put your first name under it because our father will take care of a lot if he just has permission, you know, but you got to repent. And so when we woke up the next morning and she was getting ready and right before she left for work, I just reminded her, I said, hey, Wendy, <laughs> say repent. And she did. So then God, he takes care of everything else, you know, if he knows your intentions and. But somehow, there's a legal thing set up, you know. I don't know. It's just I'm just trying to figure this stuff out and going off from a lot of the sermons from different people I've listened to. And, you know, there's some kind of a setup up there just like there is here, you know. There's some kind of a court system and some kind of a thing that goes on because Satan has... he he is always he's our accuser up there accusing us for stuff well what's what in some kind of a legal setting he's he's like the one trying to bust you for stuff you know so i don't know just gonna throw that out there for everybody start just just ask jesus to show you your power in him you know just watch these spirits look in their eyes and stuff you'll know you'll know that they know that you know who they are they smile at you, smile back at them. <laughs> they won't be smiling for very long. So, I'll talk to you guys later. See you, love you, bye.